Welcome to our channel. My name is Yvette and this is Tyler. Come along with us as we sail the high seas or hit the open road while we navigate and explore this beautiful planet our way. Hi there. Welcome on board Tootsie Marie. If you're catching up with us, we just left Norman's Key and we're heading to Bell Island. This is the consequence of staying an extra day at Norman's Key to get footage of the shark and to relax. Now we have to go nose into the wind all the way to Bell Island, which is no fun on a windy day. After a day of bashing upwind, we arrived to Bell Island, which was 32 nautical miles. The entrance into Bell Island Anchorage is a little cumbersome due to it being so shallow, but luckily we've been here before, so we just followed our old tracks in. You can see just how shallow it is off in the distance there. We have found Bell Island has a few different places that you can anchor. For whatever reason, everybody seems to want to cram into the first anchorage here, so we usually go around the corner to the second one. It was exceptionally busy this time due to the oncoming weather. As you can see on the charts here, the wind changes directions almost 360, so people were a little on edge. Even though you never want to see lightning in a sailboat, it's always kind of fun watching a squall roll in. It appears to be raining. Just a little light sprinkle here. About 25 knots of wind whipping by with this squall. Thunder lightning. This boat just got in and is working on dropping their anchor. They couldn't have anchored a moment too soon. Oh my God. Can't even see them. So the storm really didn't amount to much of anything, luckily. There was a lot of hype going on on the VHF channel 16, so we were listening to, to all that chatter. Um, but luckily, everything was fine. I mean, I think just people swinging a little bit too close in a tight anchorage, but we found a nice little spot, so we were happy and safe there. Today we're underway, leaving Bell Island, and we're heading to Staniel Key for a little bit more protection as the winds are shifting. Kind of some weird weather systems rolling through, but uh, we're just boogieing on south and making our way down and enjoying, of course, the beautiful Bahamas on the way. This is a rather common sight in the Bahamas. Just a 90-foot yacht blown by. 
We made it back to Staniel Key just in time. Probably before the rush. It looks like a lot of people relocated from Bell Island here to Staniel Key. So we're one of them. We found this nice little spot with lots of swing room. So this is where we dropped our anchor. It's always a delight when you can see the moon rising as the sun is setting, especially on this night because the moon is full. It looks like there's an angel up there. next day we decided to get off of the boat and drive the dinghy around to take a look around. Look at the little current. Yeah, ripping good. Yeah. We'll be able to pick up our speed. Yeah. It's so pretty over here. There's currently a backup here at the fuel dock. This power cat here is on the dock and then we're third in line behind that. So just a waiting game here as we wait for our turn. We've been waiting now for about an hour and 15 minutes and we're happy to say that we're next up to get fuel. Do you want to get water in that? I guess let's fill until we stop with the fuel okay. so we don't hold everybody up. Yeah. We'll take water as well until we run out. Okay. Do you prefer port or starboard side first? Or don't care? I'll do port first. Thank you. This is the gas dock here. There's quite a long line. And then you have to go to the blue hut over there to pay. So Tyler's paying and then we can get out of the way because there's still a couple people in line after us. So we'll be pushing off and then somebody else can come in and get fuel. So we are leaving Staniel Key and we are heading to Farmer's Key. So, moving south slowly. Instead of going another hour and a half to Farmer's Key, we decided to pull off here in Hetty's Land, this little anchorage we found on Navionics. So that way in the morning, we can time the tide better going through the cut.
and it ended up being this quiet little anchorage we had all to ourselves. It couldn't have been better. We were so glad that we sent the drone out. The watercolor contrast between the east and the west is spectacular. For us, the more secluded the anchorage, the better. And this one delivered. Morning, morning. We're getting ready to pull anchor here at Hetty's Land behind us. And we're heading to Georgetown today. Probably about eight hours and we're hoping for some good winds so we can put our sails up. We are approaching the Galliot Cut. This cut is the last good access point from the west side of the Exuma Island chain to Exuma South. We timed our passage through this cut at slack tide. It can sometimes get dicey depending on weather, but today was a breeze. Time to put those lines in the water. Okay, we got one on. That's a tuna. He's really tired. Oh, we got him in his gill. Look at that. Landed. Nice. We had a busy week, finding shelter from storms, finding some remote anchorages, taking dinghy tours, catching a fish, and putting some fuel in our tanks. Thank you so much for following us on this journey. We look forward to taking you with us next week as we explore Georgetown.